What's going on, my friends? Hope you're having a good day, and I hope you're having a good week as always. I want to talk about a few things today. Mainly, Facebook and Twitter have gone completely insane over a, an article. I won't even talk. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, some sort of you know scoop. I don't. I didn't even read the story to be honest, because I didn't really care that much about it, but. It's just bizarre watching how far they go to censor this video. They're removing it from DMs on Twitter. There's reports of them not allowing people to even tweet it. So you don't even have the right on Twitter and Facebook to read the article. Not only have they restricted it in Facebook feeds, the Twitter communications director has said, but they don't even want you to tweet it on Twitter and they don't even want you to mess message it privately. I'm not sure how far they're going. They keep escalating it but it's just insane. We gotta talk about it, and I don't wanna give too, too much away today because I'm gonna do a full video on this today. I'm gonna work on it, edit it, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna have it out because it's not just this. They're changing the dictionary, literally rearranging it to fit their political agenda against a Amy Coney Barrett. They are now censoring comedians such as J.P. Sears. They've done exactly to J.P. Sears what they did to me. They fact-checked my comedy video three times, and also they've libeled me and lied about what I said in order to justify their censorship. They're just going full insane, so I want people to remember, and I'm going to read some comments, read some stuff, and then uh, I'm going to start my thing. This election, obviously, it's between Trump and Biden, but you'll realize whether you love Trump, whether you hate him, whether you're a Republican and you wish he shut up on Twitter or something and you're like, oh, he doesn't represent me, whatever you think, you'll realize when this guy's gone that they're not really coming for Trump. Trump is in the way. Trump doesn't agree with them. He doesn't get along with these global liars. He doesn't get along with these censors, these power hungry tyrants. So as soon as Trump's gone, you'll realize they're coming for you. They don't want you to be allowed to read anything. They don't want you to be allowed to think anything. They don't want you to be allowed to go outside your house. First, they tell you to lock inside the house. It's a lockdown. Stay inside the house. Let's close down beaches. Let's close down outdoor uh, parks, national parks. Well, let's close it down. And then they turn around and say, now you have to go outside. It's like a Dr. Seuss book where they just run you back and forth. It's like, you have to go outside. You can't go outside. It's better indoors. Stay indoors. Quarantine. Get outside. Shut your business. These are power hungry control freaks. What's the science, folks? Is the science let's stay indoors? Oh, there's all these deaths for a few weeks. Well, because you shoved everybody indoors. Of course, it's not healthy. You literally made it like everybody couldn't even go anywhere. We had to go to the supermarket and it was scary for a few weeks. And then you do the opposite and you tell some, everyone to go outside. So what's the deal? I, I don't want to give too much away because they're censoring me on Instagram now too. I want to save it for the next video, but I can't even post Dr. Fauci. It's illegal now on these little Facebook, Twitter, Instagram rules. You can't agree with the World Health Organization because they didn't say what they used to say. Lockdowns are good. Lockdowns are bad. Go outside, stay indoors. Masks work. Masks don't work. I don't know. I can't even post the health experts. If you agree with the health experts, you can't agree with them because they don't even agree with themselves. So it's, it's a crime, a hate crime to not agree with them, but it's also apparently now a hate crime to agree with them. So don't even have an opinion at all. Just literally do whatever they say. It's like Stephen Colbert. If you've ever seen him, uh, when, when he said, Comey got fired. Everybody started uh, cheering because they thought Comey was a bad guy because they just told him he was a bad guy. And then Colbert within a minute, he's like, no, no, boo. And people are like, Oh, no, now we're mad. They don't know what it's like. Just listen to whatever we say, no matter how hypocritical, how much double standard we have, how much bias. These people have gone insane, folks. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to read a few comments as you guys come in. I appreciate you. I'm back to my workstation. So you already know I'm going to start cranking out videos. You, I got my standing desk, so I feel good. It's good for my back. I'm going to pin this stuff to the top. If you're on, on YouTube, it's pinned to the top. If you're on Facebook, it's going to be right here. It's uh, all my links if you'd like to support I got my YouTube channel in there now. I got my Instagram channel, even though Facebook owns Instagram, so they're gonna probably start censoring me on there. Now that I'm getting even bigger numbers on Instagram than Facebook, because they censored my Facebook. These people are insane, folks. They need, something needs to be done about it. I'm gonna read these tweets real quick. You see, I'm fired up. Molly Hemingway said, I'm gonna read her tweet. She said, the US presidential election interference is happening on a massive scale this day by our Russia collusion, disinformation, promoting media, and by leftist tech companies. They must be stopped before they destroy the country. Do what you can and do it quickly. I agree with Molly. They're absolutely insane. Let's see what you guys have to say. I'll take a few sips of the coffee and then I'll begin. And if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, once I put it on YouTube, just know, I know these videos are longer, the, the live streams and people say, no, I don't like the live videos. 
then watch the short ones because there's a short one coming tomorrow. It's going to be between 10 and 15 minutes, if not less. It's going to be short. I do it all. We do long form. We do short form. We do live streams. We do recorded. We do it all, folks. Let's see what we got. Who, who we got here? Lori. Yeah, we, we already know. All right. Story of the day. There's some sort of story that I haven't even read yet because to be honest, I get it. Biden's corrupt. Hunter Biden is corrupt. He did everything that they claim Trump did. It's, it's funny because I, I read a tweet. It said Trump got, in got, got impeached for what Joe Biden did. It's like everything they blame on Trump. You talk about Russia collusion. They had Mueller, who was like the George Bush FBI guy, bipartisan. It's a bipartisan. McCain, Romney, and George Bush agree. Yeah, it's bipartisan corruption that everybody voted against and voted for Trump because they didn't like that. So it's like, yeah, well, we got all the Republicans you hate on the same team. Yeah, we know. That's why we don't agree. But anyway, it's like, we're going to investigate Trump for Russia collusion. After years of it, you find out, I'm not even going to talk about it. Am I allowed to? But you talk about the Uranium One deal and all these backdoor, you know, tens of millions of dollars going to the, their foundation. It's like, where was the real Russia collusion? With the same Democrats that accused Trump, they found virtually nothing on Trump. It's like Manafort was corrupt 10 years ago with something. It's like, I'm sure he was, but you know, it's, that's not Trump's fault. And then they, they tried to impeach Trump for Ukraine collusion. Adam Schiff made up and hallucinated this whole exaggerated story that he never said was exaggerated. Then he got caught lying because Trump recorded the transcript. If Trump didn't record the transcript, he probably wouldn't be in the White House right now. So he saved his own you know, behind by actually recording it. And then Schiff said, oh, it's just a parody. So then they impeached Trump in the House for what he didn't even do. It's like he just made a phone call and wanted to look into Hunter Biden. The Democrats, the media, the tech companies, they're like a PR team for the Democratic Party. They're not fact checkers. They're not unbiased. They don't care about science. We're going to say virtually nothing about, you know, tens of thousands of people you know, burning things down and just burning cop cars and small businesses or just riding for the Lakers. But if you have a business with like 20 people in it, that's too much. These, these are the type of science. I can't figure out why I'm such a liar, says this lady with four PhDs. Uh, yesterday, last week I was against it and this week I'm for it. And I write New York Times op-eds for, for acting why I'm confused. It's because you don't believe in science. You, you believe in politics and you're what's called a hypocrite. It's like, the science that you believed in last week, now you don't believe in it anymore because your political opponents are doing it. So now it's like, well, now I have a different opinion. Yeah, we know. You're a liar. We get it. Write as many op-eds as you want. So point I'm getting to moving forward is, you know, they tried to impeach Trump for basically kind of what the Biden family did. They don't, not only do they not investigate that, they don't allow Trump or anyone else to even talk about it. It's like you'd even mention it, no matter how much proof or evidence you have, that's bad. But they can do whatever they want to Trump. They can write anonymous source said to Goldberg, Jeff Goldberg or whatever his name was, that, you know, Trump did something he called suckers and losers to the military. Do you have any proof of that? They have no proof. He is an anonymous source. What, what does that mean? Well, Bobby told Susie that Becky told me that he said that this is gossip. You might as well just put it on TMZ. It's gossip. It's an anonymous source. Somebody who hates Trump told me that they knew something and no one can confirm it. Even John Bolton, who doesn't like Trump, is like, that literally never happened. I was there. John Bolton doesn't even like the president of the United States and he won't even agree with you. That just proves how phony it is. Did they censor that article? The anonymous source that even anti-Trump people around Trump said never happened? No, of course not, because they don't care how fake it is. When it's fake, they put it out like a real story. When it's a real story, they put it out with an opinion piece. The only times Washington Post and New York Times tells the truth, which is very rare, they try to frame it as an opinion. They're like, opinion, we told the truth one time, but don't believe it's the truth because we wrote opinion above it. What about every single opinion article you guys put out every day? You never put opinion above it. These people are such liars. So they have no problem spreading rumors about Donald Trump. But God forbid you talk about Hunter Biden or uh, Joe Biden, all of a sudden, they all come out like an operative. They don't believe in the free press. Trump calls the news fake because the news is fake, okay? These mainstream media are the biggest hypocrites, the biggest liars. They love selling pharmacy pills through their commercials. They love selling war. They love being corrupt on both sides. That's why we call them fake. We want them to be able to speak, but we want to be able to counter them with the truth. They're allowed to lie. They're allowed to take over Facebook. They're allowed to take over Twitter and Google and rig all the algorithms. But then if you simply disagree or do actual reporting, they censor it. They block you from tweeting it. They block you from DMing it. These people are like 
Orwellian snakes. They're like, you can't say it, you can't think it, you can't even post it privately. They did this to Judy Mikovits a few months ago. It's like, can you just debate it? Can you have an open forum? Of course they can. They're a PR team for Joe Biden. They're a PR team for the Democratic Party. And they're a PR team for other groups that, that control them. And they just hide it behind fact checking. This is like, you know, Nazi or Stalin era stuff where they're like, we believe in free speech for the people we believe in it with. If you don't agree with us, then we don't really believe. It's like, yeah, that's what every authoritarian, you know, or fascist or whatever you want to call them, communist person did in history. They said, you can't agree, a disagreeing with us is a hate crime or a speech crime or a speech. Crime. That's what they do. They're just hiding it behind fact checkers. We've decided that you can't read the Hunter Biden article. There's more. I don't even know what it says, but from what I've seen, they have pictures. They have this. There's more proof than an anonymous source about Trump calling military suckers and losers. They have no video footage. They have no photo footage. They have no evidence. They have nobody with any sort of reputation corroborating the story. It's all anonymous. It's all rumors. But that's okay because they want to win the election. Big tech wants to rig this election. They want Donald Trump to lose. So they'll start a rumor trying to attack his voting blocks. He hates Christians. He hates military. Every, he hates suburban women. It's like... They're trying to turn everybody against him and win at all costs. And then when you have actual evidence towards a story that isn't favorable for them, they go out of their way to block it. But we know who these people are. They need to be stopped. President Trump and Republicans dragged their feet for years and didn't care about it until this year. And it's probably going to bite them in the butt. We'll see what happens. But, you know, we, we talked uh, last year. There was a big little conservative skirmish. It was called Conservative Inc., these people that a lot of you idolize and you say, I like you and I like them. I'm not here to play. It's not a game of like, you should like me more than them. But you have to understand a lot of these senators you look up to and a lot of these phony right wingers that go around college campuses and they're like, we believe in free speech. And they make like millions of dollars and they're terrible public speakers. They don't believe in free speech. A lot of these people don't believe in the First Amendment. Some of them don't believe in the Second Amendment. If you're going to say you're a conservative for free speech and you don't believe in the First Amendment, a lot of these people are taking tech money. Look at Jim Jordan. He's one of my favorite people in Congress. He's taking money from Google. It's like, how much could you fight Google if you're taking money from Google? You know, Dan Crenshaw is one of the best new Republican speakers, but he doesn't believe in the first two. He, he believes in red flag laws. Oh, no, I didn't really say that. You did say it, and then everybody disagreed with you, and you backed off it. So the Second Amendment you're shaky on, people ask you questions about Israel, and then all of a sudden you call them anti-Semites and say they're trying to cloak themselves in the First Amendment. That's what a lib liberal would say if you said, hey, I want to talk about immigration. And they're like, oh, you're just trying to cloak your racism. In the no, the First Amendment's not a cloak, bro. So these are your conservative idols. They call them conservative ink, which is a name somebody made up for them. This is why we can't win any battles. You got the, the biggest free speech fighters taking money from Google. The biggest conservative thought leaders don't believe in the first two amendments. All these phony organizations that run around college campuses trying to turn people into Republicans, they're weak on the first amendment. And when you're weak on the first amendment, you lose it all. And this is what I tried to say. Last year, people said, Anomaly, just wait till after the election. Everybody wanted to wait, and now you get lockdowns, you get mask mandates, you get total internet censorship, and you have the complete loss of the Constitution in America. I'm not blaming it on conservatives because it's a lot of liberals, but this is why Trump won the election. He's the least weak person there. He's not perfect, but every day he's like calling out stuff. And these other people like to hide behind, you know, their Instagram or whatever and just say what everybody wants to hear on the right. But behind closed doors, they're, they're making all the wrong moves. You can't believe in free speech for only those you agree with. And you don't believe in it. If you don't protect free speech for the people you hate the most, you're gonna lose it for yourself. And that's what we're seeing this year. And I saw it last year, they canceled people. You had these big right-wing organizations canceling people and firing people for taking pictures with other people, guilt by association, you can't say that, you can't debate this, you can't say this. That's not conservative, that's not First Amendment. So once they did that, I already told you last year, Free speech is gone. It's going. It's not just because the left. The left are the perpetrators. The social media companies are the worst. The Democrats don't believe in free speech at all anymore. But it's your idols. It's your leaders on the right that are false leaders. I've tried to explain this. It's like when you have a game where you think you're winning, but the people pretending to fight these people aren't really fighting them, you get 2020. You get everything that happened this year. And we need to obviously, you know, expose the tech companies and the, the left. But these phony people on the right that say they're fighting it and then do all the same stuff as the tech companies, this is a recipe for disaster. But, you know, that's what's going on, folks. I'm going to read some comments and then I'm going to 
really explain this in better you know, explanation in a video tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you all the stuff because they're changing the dictionary, they're rigging the social media, and Facebook and Twitter, these people are so evil. They're just a PR team for Joe Biden, they're a PR team for Democrats, they're a PR team for any special interest group that has more power or wants to, you know, over overthrow the Constitution, essentially, and just make a public platform where they get benefits like their telephone company. But in reality, they're not because their censorship is so overt. It's not even like a policy for me. I'm talking to lawyers now. I'm trying to get one to, to represent me. They libeled me. They said I said something I never said in order to take it away. It's like me saying the sky is blue. And they're like, that's fake news. The chair's not orange. I never said the chair was orange. So it's like, th these are the games they're playing with me. They can't even debunk what I'm saying because I don't lie. So they have to make a whole straw man argument I never said and then take down my channel. They're trying to rig the election. They're trying to kick Trump out of office. They're trying to destroy even further than that. Anybody who they know in the future is going to disagree with them. JP Sears, nice guy, funny comedian. He's super comedy. It's like his comedy's too edgy. Watch SNL. Even Bill Burr is a flop. He's, he's hanging out with Judd Apatow too much or something. The guy turned into a total like, he's like, wear your mask or you're going to kill grandma. It's like, that's not comedy. That's like carrying water for like the oligarchs. But anyway, it's like, watch SNL, but don't watch J.P. Sears. They, they don't even believe in comedy anymore because comedy is often parody on reality, which makes a lot of sense to people, and they want you to go to their puppets. Listen to John Oliver, because he's a liar for the Democratic Party. Listen to Stephen Colbert, because he's a liar for the Democratic Party. Listen to Jimmy Kimmel, because he's a liar for the Democratic Party. Listen to SNL, because they lie, and they create this false reality for people to be like, ooh, you know, Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton are super cool ninjas. It's like, no, they're not. That's just a character they made up to brainwash. Jim Carrey's like, oh, it's, it's all BS. You could watch that, though, but you can't watch JP, JP Sears. That comedy's too you know, explaining what's going on in a funny way. So we gotta, we gotta demonetize that. We gotta censor that. These people are such cowards. They're such authoritarians. They're, they're, they're everything they claim Trump is. They're every bit as power hungry and dishonest and, you know, authoritative as, as they claim Trump is. And as soon as he's gone, whatever it is, hopefully in five years, and I'm talking about out of the White House, I hope he lives till he's 200 years old, they're gonna show you exactly who they're really coming for. They're gonna show you exactly who they really are. Trump is the scapegoat, one way or the other. Whether you like him or not, he's the scapegoat. They're blaming everything on him, getting clicks and revenue off him, and as soon as he's gone, they're coming directly for the citizens. Anybody that disagrees, anybody that, that, that fights against their agenda, they've already done it in, in California, and this is a, a blueprint for what they're doing all across the country. It's such a joke. They keep going further and further, and something needs to be done. Pray for a Trump victory. Pray Republicans stop taking money from Google and actually do something about Google. Pray that, you know, your right-wing idols stop lying and, and censoring everybody on behalf of their socio-political agenda as opposed to just doing what they should do, which is saying there's no such thing as hate speech. No, hate speech isn't a thing unless you're talking about people I don't want you to talk about. Then it's like, then you don't believe in it. Just stop lying. It, it, the hypocrisy is just so obvious in politics. And this is why, before I really end, and then I'm going to get to some comments, this is why Trump won the election. You compare Trump to the next best Republican, whoever you think it is, it's the gap is so astronomical, it's not even close. Like there's no one even remotely close to the leadership, to the energy, to the balls that this guy has. The next best person is a, is a flop. It's like there's there's a reason he's leading the country right now and it's it is truly amazing, but it's like these other people, they what do they really even do? I don't even know. But that's my thoughts. Let me know yours. God bless you guys. God bless your family. God bless America and God bless the world. I never try to tell people how to vote. I tell them how I vote. But on the ballot this year is not just Republican versus Democrat. It's really, do, does the White House now belong to Google and Facebook and Twitter? They want Joe Biden to win. If Joe Biden wins, Google wins, Facebook wins, Twitter wins. They win either way because they control more landscape in some cases than the U.S. government when it comes to flow of communication. But if that's all going hand in hand with the government, you're going to get a situation that's very similar to communism or fascism, like they always want to talk about, or authoritarianism, where you're not allowed to disagree. If you disagree with President Trump, you get a $100 million Nike deal. You can become a superstar, literally misleading your own people, like LeBron James and Colin Kaepernick. That's called 
The president's not an authoritarian. You're supposed to disagree with him. You're supposed to hate him. If you hate him, SNL loves you. The whole country, you can't, if he loses, you're not gonna be able to even disagree with Biden. You can't even do a normal reporting story. They can lie, they can make up stories, they can use anonymous sources, they can have no proof, they can have no evidence, they can have no accuracy, but you can't even put out a story in opposition to the candidate they want. These people are such liars, it's insane. But uh, that's my thoughts, let me know yours. God bless you guys. My stuff's pinned to the top, if you wanna support, that's cool. If not, you know, I got these hats, the God bless Made in America. You already know. And, uh, you know, I got shirts and all that stuff. But overall, have a good day. And uh, just follow me on other social media because even though they own half the companies, um, they're coming. And they're coming for everyone. Not just me, not just Trump, not just AP Sears. They, they've already come for half of you and give you 30-day bans over nothing. These people are such losers. It's insane. That's how I sleep good at night. It's like, how do you sleep good at night knowing you're such a liar and such a loser? These people are so pathetic. But... All right, let's calm down. I got the standing desk. When I'm, when, I, when I'm standing up, I got too much energy. They can't stop it. Uh, Ryan said, what's up? Ryan said they want to implement a technocracy. They're technocrats. Exactly. It's, it's a government that flows hand in hand with the tech companies. They're already 